This video is made possible by Invato Elements. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it Typography. As always, I'm using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, but this time, I am using a frame rate of 60. Also, my duration is 10 seconds longer. Now the first step is to create a new solid layer, and call it the background. Use any color you want, and then hit OK. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the fractal noise. Apply it to the layer, and then change the contrast value to 150, and the brightness value to minus 50. Also, open transform, and change the scale value to around 500. And this is how it will look now. Let's minimize this effect, then select the background layer, and make a duplicate of it. Let's remove this fractal noise from it, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the grid. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. Change the size from to width and height slider, and change the width value to 10, also the height value will be 10. Now change the border value to 9, and then click on this invert grid option. Now rename this layer as the grid, and then we are going to use the track mat for this layer. So in case this track mat tab is not available for you, you can press F4 to switch between, or you can simply right click here, go to the columns, and choose modes, as well as switches because we are going to use them. Make sure the grid layer is placed right below the background, and change its track mat to Luma. And this is how the background will look now. You can see some tiny grids here. Perfect. Fit it 100%. Now the one problem is that this grid is transparent. So we need to make one more solid layer. Let's call it the background. Click on the make it comp size button, and use a background color for it. I am keeping this dark blue color. Hit OK, and place it right below all layers. Now we are going to add the text. So go to the tools, and select the text tool. Click anywhere on the screen, and start typing your text. I am adding the first letter of my text instead of adding the whole word. Eject from the typing box, and then align your text into the center. We will add each letter on individual layers. Now one thing we need to do, if I apply the CC Repertile effect on it, by going to the effects and the presets, and searching for the CC Repertile. Apply it onto the layer, and change the expand down, and expand up value by any large number, then the spacing between the letters may affect the look of the animation. Let's remove this effect for now. Then right click on your text layer, and choose pre-compose. I am not able to select this leave all attributes in the typography option, so I am keeping this second one. Let's call this comp letter D, and then hit OK. Now open this pre-comp, by double clicking on it, and then we will crop this comp so that the text will fit right inside it. Let's zoom in, and here you will find this region of interest option. Click on it, and then draw a mask around this text layer. Something like this. Make sure the letter is fitting right inside this comp. Then go to the composition, and select crop comp to the region of interest and it will crop this composition. Perfect. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Make sure the letter is fitting right inside this composition, and nothing is cutting out. Now for adding the next text layer, if you duplicate this pre-comp, and change the text from here it won't work. It will replace the text of all layers. So instead, I am going to duplicate my text comp from the project panel. Let's rename this layer as the letter E, 
and place it on top of the letter D. Now open this comp, and rename the text as the letter E. Switch back to the main timeline, and use the shift plus right arrow key, to place your text right next to the previous one. Let's quickly make all of the letters, and place them on the timeline. I am speeding up this process to save some time. And this is how it looks. Now select all layers, then grab the move tool, and align your text into the center. Make sure you are using the right space for the letters. Now we are going to create a mask on it. So make sure to unselect any selected layer, then go to the tools, and select the rectangle tool. Please note, my fill is set to a solid color, and I am keeping the opacity value at 20% for now, but we will change it later. Also, my stroke is set to none. Now create a rectangle around the text layer. You can also create a different mask for each of the letters, but I am creating a large box, so that I can cover all the letters at once. Because I have used the opacity value of 20%, so I can see my text behind this rectangle. Now we just need to make it wide from the side. So grab the move tool, and change the width of the shape like this. Use the shift plus right arrow key, to place it onto the text. Now change the opacity value to 100%, else the masking won't work properly. Let's rename this layer as the shape mask, and then hide it for now. Before adding a mask, I'm going to use one more thing here. Select the letter D, and apply the CC Repertile on it. Change the Expand Down value to 800, as well as the Expand Up value to 800. Fit it 100%, and this is how it looks now. Perfect. Let's copy this effect, and paste it one by one on all text layers. Now the text is looking like this. Select the shape mask layer, and you can turn on the visibility of this layer now. Place it right above the letter D layer. Select the letter D layer, and change the track mat to alpha mat. It will remove all the copies, and show the letter D only. Select the shape mask layer, and make a duplicate of it. Place it right above the letter E, and change the track mat to alpha mat. Do this for all of the layers and the final word will look like this. Now select all the mask layers only. You can use the control, or command key on your keyboard. Now click on this solo button, and also click here to hide them from the timeline. Now select all of the text layers, and press P to open the position. Go to around a 3 second position, and add a keyframe on the position. Then go to the first frame position, and change the Y position value to a different number. I am randomly placing them away from each other. Of course, you can spend a better time for making it as you want. Make sure the first frame doesn't look blank, just like I have in the letter G. So I am going to change the value of the Y position. And this is how it looks now. Check the animation, and this is looking better. Now select all keyframes, right click on them, go to the keyframe assistant, and select Easy Ease. Now open graph editor, in case your graph does not look like this, then right click here, and choose edit speed graph. Now select the end keyframes, and change the curves to something like this. Select the first keyframes as well, and change it like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how the animation looks. We just need to do one thing. I am going to place the end keyframes randomly at different positions, so that it will create some dynamic animation. Perfect. Let me arrange these keyframes as well. And I think this is enough. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, 
I will see you in the next one. Till then, good luck, and peace. Download unlimited After Effects templates, logo music, background music, sound effects, fonts, stock footage, web templates, mockups, and more. Visit the first link in the description, and start downloading today.